Hello everybody, Azumi here doing Marmalade Strikes 8 star multi solo. Um, first is going to be my tank which is going to be OG Shinji. And my usual setup plus um, Amari's Piercing Lands and uh, the Deadly Spear. For some earth and some dark damage. Second is going to be Isolation Vidar. And I love the combat fans and just some other earth gear and feather blade for healing again. Third is going to be Loki, which is passive. It'll help a little bit with crystal crushing. Not much different. Then Dark Knight Zato. I like the dark uh, hoplite helmets because they uh, give you skill gauge up. And last but not least lone wolf Vidar. so i'm using two versions of him and we're just using the spinny top because of quick and hits with earth damage the yag bow and traitor's bow for some extra dark damage to get rid of those light crystals so here we go mermaid marmalade is in the range throw and is yotun and is considered to be airborne her action skill bubble bath does 140% water magic attack damage and magic attack 20% down for three turns to three enemies with the highest magic attack. Her auto skill does water magic attack damage and sleep to all heroes in the connect battle for three turns. Sleep effect applies only to female heroes, so bring all your husbands to this fight. Additionally, at 8 star she has Eclipse Field, and Eclipse Field is active from the 2nd and 3rd HP bars. The most effective elements against her are going to be Fire and Dark. Um, again, like I said, do not use females. They're just going to sleep the front time unless they're not in the front most of the line. So... And magic attack is heavily debuffed, so either bring some way to negate that or primarily use attack, which is what I did. The water crystals, which are in the ranged row, does water magic attack damage and sleep for three turns to the front hero. Sleep applies only to Aesir, so don't use an Aesir as your front hero no matter what or they're going to take a nap. Additionally, at 7 star, these crystals apply aqua field, and at 8 star, they have high aqua field. The light row crystals are in the ranged row, and they have magic attack and magic defense down, and sleep for 3 turns to the farthest, farthest enemy row. Sleep effect applies only to female heroes. Additionally, at 6 star and below... Magic Defense up for Marmalade and Crystals. At 7 star and up, it's Magic Attack and Magic Defense up for Marmalade and the Crystal. So, there you go. Um, some other heroes you can use would be, you can use Awaken Meliodas. Just don't make sure he's the front one. Um, Awakened Wolfgang works pretty good. Genesis Ymir, Thor, Hellblindy, Gliffy, Odin. Um, really the only healer that's not female is Balder, so if you need one, go for him. Um, really just any male is pretty decent for this fight. I don't know what the deal is on why it's only female. Is she supposed to be jealous? I think that's it, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of funny. But it, yeah, just it's pretty straightforward with the rules on this one. Just avoid bringing females and either have some way to negate your magic attack down or just straight hit them with um, regular attack. You're probably going to need two forms of attack to get rid of the water crystals and both the light crystals. So that's going to be earth damage and dark damage. Marmalade is most weakest to fire and ice, fire and dark, I mean, so um, you're going to want to stay away from anything else. She has a medium resistance to earth, but it kind of works anyway. It'll go down a little bit faster if you mix in a little bit more fire and dark gear rather than just using a lot of earth stuff.
And because she's Yotan, you can use, you know, like I did, Awakened Vidar to get some bonus damage on that. I'm also using the Halloween Vidar because it's really the only thing I have a use for him for is this fight. And Genesis Prince Ymir is actually pretty good because he just hits everything like a truck. Um, Loki is basically there because of his Beast Killer passive, which lets you Crystal Crush a little quicker. And Zato does a pretty good um, amount of dark damage, so he's a good choice for this too. And we're almost done here. Another couple hits, they're just taking their sweet time here at the end. Blah, 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 come on. Oh no, Loki's health got low, that's okay, he'll survive. You got Zato jumped up and gave her the spear and then she died. So let's see what our total damage is. Alright, there we go. Thank you for watching and have a good day.